Hi everyone, this is Modern Windows Fan Video. I'm Adam, and in today's episode, we're going to go over uh, ArcSoft's uh, awesome program, uh, Showbiz. So Showbiz is a video editing app. It's available in the Windows uh, Store, uh, and it's uh, available for Windows 8. Um, it is a video editing app, and it is actually the app that I use to make all of these Modern Windows Fan Videos. So you've already seen kind of some of the work that uh, you can do with um, uh, showbiz, but you can actually do a lot more than I typically do in my modern Windows fan videos. So I wanted to create a tutorial to show off the app. It's a fantastic app. It shows just how powerful Windows Store apps can be. And I wanted to kind of show off all of the features so that if you were interested in, in um, video editing, you could kind of get going and, and whatever you, idea you have, you could just do right away. So with that, I'm going to uh, just get right into it. So I'm going to bring um, Showbiz over here. Uh, Showbiz has kind of a, uh, a lot of stuff going on on the screen. Uh, so rather than run it snapped with me talking, I'm just going to run it full screen and, and you can hear me describe what's going on. So I'm going to tap new project and I'm going to call this Cassie and Adam. Cassie is my dog. We're going to make a little video of, of me and my dog here. So the, as soon as you create a new project, it brings you to a screen where it brings you to a file selector where you can select some files. I have this um, folder I made on my desktop called Cassie Video that has some of the stuff we're going to use for this video. You'd probably, uh, you know, search around your hard drive to find what you need. Uh, you can add pictures and videos, and you can kind of pull, you know, uh, stitch those together to make your video. And you can kind of animate the pictures too. We're going to show how to do that. So the first thing we're going to do is select this picture of me and Cassie. Say choose. Okay. And the first thing I want to show is that you can do some panning and zooming with pictures to make nice kind of animated tile cards. So if we press play, you can see that it zooms in on me and Cassie. But you can actually control that. So we're going to tap on the, the, the video to select it. We're going to tap pan and zoom down the end here. You'll see there are three buttons, start, end, and done. Start shows us the start position and shows us the end position. So for the start, let's go ahead and zoom right in on Cassie. She's the star of the show. And then end, I kind of like it shows both of us. So we'll hit done, press play, and it zooms out from just Cassie to me and Cassie. Okay, that's pretty cool. So now let's add some text. Let's do fade in, fade out. That's one of my favorites. And we will say Cassie and me. Okay tap anywhere outside. And now if we press play, we'll see that, that text um, pop in. Pretty cool. All right, so let's add a couple more pictures and make some like uh, some fun credit title cards. So we'll do photo and video. We'll add this nice picture of Cassie. We'll scroll to the end here, do photo and video, and add this picture of me. Okay. So now let's add some, some credits. We'll do fade in, fade out for the text style. There's a whole bunch of different text styles you can see here. And we're going to say uh, starring Cassie. We'll click anywhere outside. Click on my picture. We're going to pick some text here. Notice there are text effects, transition, and drawing. We're just going to you know, pick some text here. So fade in, fade out. And we'll say co-starring Adam. OK. So we've got some cool, we've got some cool stuff here. Um, You can see it, it has our title cards and all that stuff. But let's add some transitions to make this a bit more interesting. So we're gonna select our first video here, our first clip, and we're gonna say transition up the top. And I really like this page transition. All right, so we've got this transition in here. Let's see what that looks like. Pretty cool. So now we'll select this picture of Cassie. We'll do transitions and we'll select the page again. And we can press play and we can see what that looks like. So now we've got our title card and we've got our credits. And after each credit, we've got a nice little uh, screen wipe here and uh, we're ready to start a movie. But what this really needs is some background music. So let's add, we'll do add down the bottom right, music. And I've got an MP3 file of a song I recorded on ukulele. A while back. And so we can have that as kind of our, our background music. So I'll press play. So 
that's pretty cool. All right, so now it's time to add some video. So we'll hit add, photos and video. I've got this a couple of videos I recorded of, of me and Cassie hanging out. So I'm gonna say choose. Now we've got this video in here. You can see the video along the timeline. And I recorded this video this morning and it, most of the sound is just me going, hey Cassie, hey Cassie over again. So I know I don't want any sound. So I selected the video. I went to balance down here and I'm gonna turn the video volume all the way down. Cause we just really wanna hear the, the audio track. And wouldn't it be nice to have another, um, you know, a transition between the credits and the video. So I selected the last kind of title card here and I'm gonna select a transition. I like this page fall one. All right, so let's see what that looks like. Okay, this is really starting to come together. So now we're gonna just go through and edit this video down because there's some cool parts and then there's a lot of just kind of Cassie rummaging around. So we'll cut it uh, maybe about here. And what I did is I selected the video, I brought it to where I wanted and I, I'm gonna hit split in the lower left. And I'm gonna bring it forward a bit here and I like it when she takes off running into the woods. So we're gonna do split again here. And then we're gonna delete this part. So we go from her walking to her running up into the woods. And this is fun. And I zoom in. And then maybe we could cut right after I zoom out. So we'll tap, split. And then I like it when I start running up on Cassie, surprising her. So let's get to about here. Split, delete this. And I'm just scrubbing through here. And I'm chasing after Cassie. She was getting away from me this morning and I, I caught up to her. So I'm gonna split and I'm actually gonna delete the rest of the video. And now I'm gonna add another video I shot. So I'm gonna hit add, photo and video, and I'm gonna get this video of, of me and Cass. And I'm just gonna cut a little bit of the beginning off. Get it to maybe right here. Split, delete. Now I'm pretty happy with that sequence. But I wanna add some transitions between these sequences. And we can also try some effects too to see what that's like. So I'm gonna select the first one and I'm gonna do page fall. And I can see what that looks like. I'm gonna select this next one. Let's try some different stuff. How about break? That looks pretty cool. Let's see what that looks like. Let's add an ending title card to say goodbye. And I really like this picture of Cassie we had earlier, so I'm gonna put that at the end. And let's put a transition between these two. Let's try this bubble. Okay. And let's add some text. Maybe bye bye. No. All right. I think that's a. I think that's a video, that's pretty cool. But we can do a few more things too. Let's add some effects to some of these videos. So we'll go up to effect, and let's add like a, a cool, like vintage Lomo effect. Let's see what that looks like. Well, that's pretty cool, it looks like an old camera, you know? Maybe we'll do that, we'll do something else like that. We can do the soft Lomo at the end here where Cassie's giving me a kiss. select this last one that's just a picture let's do black and white have a nice picture of Cassie in black and white that's pretty nice so here we are we've got a nice little video so let's press play and see what we got
you can see it applies a nice fade out to the music. So I think we've got our video. So all there is to do now is to produce it so that we can share it with people and put it online and all that stuff. So I'm going to hit produce in the lower right here. And we get some options for how to produce it. Uh, if, if you use the free version of Showbiz, you can just do the low resolution, which is, you know, fine for like looking at our phone. But if you just pay a couple bucks, you can get uh, HD output. So I'm going to select HD here, 720p, and uh, hit produce. And you'll see this, this encodes really fast. Um, I've noticed that uh, Showbiz encodes my videos a lot faster than, uh, let's say, the encoding job I have to do from uh, raw screen capture with like expressions encoder. Um, so it seems like it's pretty efficient. So I'll give it a few more seconds. It's already about 60% 60 60 done. Um, and then we will go take a look at, at where that ends up on the file system on your uh, PC. So it looks like we're already just about done. We can hit close and now we can actually go check out our movie. So if we go to uh, OneDrive and we select this PC and we go to Pictures, we'll see there's an Artsoft Showbiz directory. And our, uh, our movie's under there. I, there's actually two copies because I, uh, I kind of practiced doing this earlier. So hit play and we've got our video. You can see it's all there, all our, all our stuff and our effects. So you could then take this video and you could uh, share it on YouTube. Uh, they, they work fine on YouTube. You could put it on OneDrive, send someone a link and they can watch on their phone or whatever. Um, I've used a, I'm not a pro video person, I don't make movies, but I've, I've played with plenty of consumer video editing stuff, uh, like the Movie Maker on Android, or um, uh, iMovie, both on Mac OS X and on iOS, and out of all the different movie making kind of consumer software I've used, I'd say Showbiz is right at the top, if not the best. It's super easy to use, and it's packed with a bunch of stuff and uh, you can't beat the price. So uh, go check it out and go make some awesome movies with your Windows tablet and impress your friends. Thanks.